know that Carol Rosen is one of the lead scientists in NASA Tree right now, rocket science, and she's been bleeding her horn lately, basically explaining on what's been happening here within our physicality and with our governments. Um, obviously, the first she said it would be the, uh, the third world nations, which is countries who need our help. Then they said it would be terrorist attacks, and we already got that in 93 when they tried to blow up the World Trade Center, and then again in 2001. Uh, if you do any other research, Phil Schneider actually explained in detail here in 93 that whoever was in charge about trying to bring the World Trade Center down were not rabbis and weren't anybody of that nature. He actually explained exactly where they were, the bombs were housed and who was involved in it. He tried to do it in 2001 and they made a complete success. Obviously the, the way the towers came down was totally demolition. It's just obvious, I mean, to, to, a, to a person who has no background in science, science or any architecture period. It's just obvious that it looks like a demolition control got the terrorist attacks and now she says that we're going to have asteroids. You've seen the asteroid that came in um, in Russia, scared the shit out of everybody. Then you had one just a couple of days ago and that's in Florida. Kind of got people wondering what's going on. Now the last part obviously she said was the alien threat. Whether it's a real alien threat or whether it's a fake alien invasion, it doesn't matter. What we need to know and what we need to understand is that building yourself consciously and spiritually is the only way you're going to be able to tell who's who. Again, just either being in their proximity or whether they're being around, even on TV. You can tell just by somebody's vibration if you're watching them on TV, it carries. So um, it's very, very important to center yourself with as much love as possible. I know I hear a lot of people who are in the metaphysic field and, and doesn't believe in love as, as the answer. Uh, I think that's total bullshit. Because again, these dark energies, whoever's involved in the satanic or whatever, that type of dark realm, they cannot vibrate around positivity or um, love or anything of that nature. That's why they have to do so much to put it on TV, music, movies, anything that's designed to keep your body and your mind at a low frequency so they're able to control. Now, I, I, obviously everybody sees the chemtrails that are going on. Uh, to me, I think it has a lot to do with more mind control than, than it is to make them sick. Now remember, it's just like it's just like the the doctor's telling you that you're going to die from cancer. Immediately, your 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 mind is telling your body that you're going to die within a few months. So if you got people out there constantly telling you that these chemtrails are going to kill you, it's going to make you sick. Well, it's only obvious that your body is going to follow through that route and you're going to get sick and you'll probably end up failing. So I would say don't give give it so much power. Don't think of it as as a being a, a sickening type type giving type of thing. It's more on the mind control. Pattern. Everything that they show on TV, music, movies, food, it all coincides and coexists with each other so that they're able to control. Um, the, obviously, the, what's been said that's been sprayed in these chemtrails is strontium, barium, and niobe. Now, these actual chemicals are being used to uh, project three-dimensional holographic displays. You can see that happen with the whole Tupac over there at uh, Coachella. That's a great example of what they're showing you. Pretty much a three-dimensional holographic display of somebody who has passed away. So, terrorist attacks can only go for so long, as you know. Now imagine an alien invasion. That would be a psychological blow to the human spirit, and we, we're going to have to ask the UN for help. Now, the people who have been doing their inner work, the spirituality, and all the information that they have been gathering throughout the planet and with other people, Obviously, we know who's running the planet, and whoever's running the planet is not good. So they're going to get people to think that this is going to be a fake alien invasion that we must fight amongst these beings. Now, I have pictures, and I have other sources that I know that Planet X is out there. I don't, I don't like to call it a near brew or anything like that, because immediately people think it's a doomsday type thing. You got, you got people, the big rap star called Absol coming out with, or came out with a song called Nimber, which talks about Planet X and how it's coming in, the government knows about it, and once it comes in, it's pretty much doomsday, we're all fucked. I don't believe that at all in any way, shape, or form. I strongly believe that when it comes in, whoever brings it in, it's, it's hell. And it's going to shred this net that's, that's, that's over our planet, which also starts a higher knowing of what's going on actually in, 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 um, in our atmosphere. The whole shooting, the murder cases, and all that stuff, you got to understand these things are put out there to, to, to de-stimulate your mind and your heart. So that way you're constantly asking questions, or you're constantly saying, oh, that's the way human nature is. We we're built that way. We're built for, for deceiving each other and hurting each other, when we're not. You have to be conditioned. So at a young age, or again, MK MKUltra, um, Monarch Project, 
you do the math on all those super, super, super secret mind control programs. Um, those of you who are in the music industry and know exactly what's going on and supposedly are afraid to back out or afraid to put out what really needs to be known, um, you guys are cowards and um, you guys are to be dealt with. You guys think you're going to be off with your masters. Whatever they try to do, you're being lied to. Again, you're being lied by the major deceiver. Okay, so it's very important to stay loved, stay focused, because there's a there's a lot, there's a line being drawn right now. Whether you're on that side or whether you're on this side, whether you're gonna stay positive and help people wake up or help children, our children's well being and respect women, or you're gonna be too doing the total opposite with all these other snakes and all these other demons who are growing our planet. So it is completely up to you. I've been trying my hardest very much to open people's minds up to it. It is very hard to do so, especially when they're already programmed in such a deep way that it's just it's just kind of like impossible. But once you once you plant that seed and you do it in a way that they understand, then it's just all game from there. It's up to them to take that key and run with it and make copies. So you gave them the key, it's up to them to take it. I guess in the form, don't, don't ever try to force anything upon somebody. But once you, once you show them the, the, the actual truth between positive and negative vibrations, between love and hate, between taking care of somebody other than getting over somebody, it's just a complete opposite and a complete different vibration. And who the fuck wants to do that? Who wants to be in that type of realm? Who wants to be in negativity, being sad and solid? Nobody does. Again, unless you're a core setting you can to deal with that with no, with no problem. Keep you on low vibrations and low frequencies. Low vibrations, low frequencies, and that's all what it's designed to do. That's the way you're not thinking and you're not taking care of your, your people around you or yourself. I disrespect anybody who's in the music industry selling death to their own people. I disrespect anybody who's in the music industry disrespecting the divine female essence and harming the child's well being. So, all of you guys, Lil Wayne, little weenies, and all those little, little fucking weirdos, sorry for cussing, but I'm, it just has to be this way. And there has to be a line, a line drawn. So, um, again, I love you very much. Stay love, make sure you stay away from all negative vibrations as much as possible, and uh, show love. Thank you very much. Love, boss.